AI. In this video, I'll show you how to solve this equivalent problem using recursion. And again, you will see the beauty of recursion that we can use it to solve a very difficult or challenging problem. So let's see. So what is the problem? The problem says that how many ways to place eight chess queens on an eight multiple by eight chess board so that no two queens threaten each other. What does it mean? So for example, this one is the solution, right? You see that I place the queen in this position. This one does not threaten any of other queens. You see the other, no, no. This one, the same thing. It does not threaten other queen at all. So you see here, here, diagonals, so no, and etc. So on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight queens do not threaten each other at all. So this is one of the solution. The problem asks how many ways, how many solutions are there. So one observation is that we need to place the queen one. Each, each queen should be in a separate row. For example, if I put two queens in the same row, they threaten each other, right? Or each of the queen again, it should be in separate columns. For example, in here, we cannot put two queens in the same columns in here. Again, they will threaten each other. How can we solve the problem using recursion? So let's go back again. We say that in recursion, right, computer can always help us to solve the problem automatically already. And if the computer help, help us already, then can we solve the whole problem? And can we find the base cases and solve them, solve the base cases or not? How to solve this equivalent problem? So you see that here, right? Let's say that we have totally a row in here from row zero, row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to put a queen to row zero to row seven, right? The first question is, if the computer has helper to solve until row six, can we solve until row seven or not? The answer is yes. How? Not difficult, right? I just try to put this queen to the place that it does not threaten the other the other queen in the board now. Right? For example, this position, oh, it's threatened this queen. This position, it threatened this queen. How about this? Yes, yeah, still. This, still this still, but this one it does not threaten any other queen. So this is one of the solution. We check for the columns. We don't need to check the row, right? Because it's a separate row already. We check for the columns and we check for the diagonals. And it does not threaten any other queen. So this is one solution. So we have one solution. We continue, check this position, no, check this position, no, and etc. So this is one step. It means that Computer help us to solve the problem already automatically. Yes, we can solve the whole problem. The next question is, can we find the base cases for that recursion? So in this re recursion, we reduce the number of, of the row, right? So it means that we start from until row seven here. We try to get the whole solution for until row seven. Now it's minus one, right? We ask the computer to, to minus one the row, minus one, minus one, and etc. So until row minus one, minus one, until which row that we can solve the problem ourselves without calling the recursion, which row? This row. So if until rows is only zero, it means that I can solve, I can solve the, this problem. How? I can, not only one solution, but a solution. I can put in here, you know, only one row until the row zero. This is one solution. This is another solution I can put in here. This is another solution and etc. So totally I have, is solution in this situation. It means, again, I can solve the whole problem and I can find the base cases. What is zero? And solve them already. It means that I can use recursion to solve this problem. 